I can't believe it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. You ready? Ready. Let's do this. <sighs> hey guys. <laughs> As you've probably seen from the title of this video, we got robbed. Last Saturday, we kind of had our van life nightmare happen to us. After an otherwise beautiful morning, we started off with a coffee. We met Virginia and Ricard and then went and volunteered some time at a dog shelter here. After that, we were actually a fairly emotional drain from the over 100 dogs they had here. And we went to a beach and kind of for the first time in our entire Europe trip, yeah. we left everything out just charging because we were filming all morning. We said, let's just go to the beach for a couple hours. We parked out front of a hotel. We thought it'd be an amazing time to unplug. And to be honest, we really did enjoy our time at the beach. It didn't feel weird. Like you said, it was in front of a hotel that had security guards. So I think we should just let it roll. You guys can see how everything's unfolded. Um, we will say that the footage is on a GoPro, so it's a little bit different quality than you guys are used to from us. But it's just real and raw, and um, we like to share the good with the bad, so. Here goes nothing. So this is what happened. <laughs> I am in like complete shock. I'm so grateful that we have our computers. I know. And that we have our passports. That's amazing. We, we parked our van here and uh, someone came and stole all of our stuff. We got robbed. Do you have any cameras or anything? You, you go to reception okay. and speak, and speak with ah, the reception. Ah, they have robbed the Yes, you see that they have robbed. I cannot see the cameras now. We have to wait until uh, our um, uh, guardian came okay. this evening and they can have a look. Receptionists at the hotel is really helpful. They don't necessarily have cameras on the street and they've called the police and the police said we need to come down to do a proper report. So, not the evening we were expecting to have, but we might as well get that sorted. I'm, I'm not sure what like it's gonna do for us, but maybe in the future it can help, like, I don't know, catch the bad guys. Anyways, I'm done crying. That's the last time you've seen me cry. It's just stuff. <laughs> Super lucky because um, we had an old, old Samsung phone hidden in the van and they didn't take it. So we're trying to find a company that can give us a SIM card so that we can just like better sort things out and have GPS and stuff like that. Okay, well Beck tries and sorts that out. I think the police station is actually just up here. So I'm going to pop in and start this process. Might take a while. Well that's classic. The lady at the hotel called and said, don't go to the first town, go to the second town, because the first town's not open and this town is open and they'll take your report. But obviously, neither of them are open. Polizia, police. We had my car broken into. Where do I go? Is there a police station to do a report? Can you show me where it is? Okay, thanks for your help, guys. Super helpful cops. You're watching this and you're starting to think, oh, I'm not coming to Spain, they're gonna rob me. Not everyone here is bad. That guy was amazing. He saw that the phone that we had didn't work. He has a crack screen at home and he offered to lend us that phone for as long as we want. So just an unbelievable person. Uh, unfortunately, that's not gonna work for us because I think we need to go to Barcelona to get some other gear. Yeah. So we are now gonna walk the streets to try and see what the cheapest phone we can buy is just to get us to buy some time basically because yeah, we need so we need we access to GPS and where we're gonna park tonight yeah. and how to get there and all these things yeah what's the cheapest smartphone you have 99. which one is it looks like a beauty new game plan we're using wi-fi to try to use my skype to call rogers which is our 
um, provider back home that we bought this from forever ago and see what they can do about making sure it's unlocked. French. Can you give me like an unlock key or how does this work? We called and spoke to Becky at Rogers and she was able to figure out our issue why Movistar wasn't working, but... Well, hopefully. Well, yeah, let's not jump to the gun. One nine. Yeah, that's the same card. Can you try this SIM card in, in my mobile? Okay. okay. Can I try your SIM card in this one? You're sure as well. There's a master pot code. In Spain, only have one. That's it. Phone's cooked. Total disaster, total failure. We're going back to our Pakistani brother who's gonna hook us up with a $65 HTC something or other just to get us through because if we don't have internet, we're, give me a good, give me a good metaphor. We're, we're um, fish out of water. paddling up creek or whatever <laughs> that one is. Yasir here is the man. I've given him my Samsung. He gave me a brand new Redimi, which is gonna work globally. So that's a good move. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Uh, this is not good. I ran ahead and now I've lost back. She's gonna be very upset about this. Come on, smile about the little wins today. We got internet. Amazing. On a brand new Chinese phone. <laughs> Let's go home, baby. I ordered a beer. Oh, good for you. Another super fun experience that we're having is signing into our Google account so we can even download apps like Park for Night, Instagram, any of these apps that rule our world. The problem here is that when you sign in, they want to send a code to our iPhones, which we no longer have, or to our Canadian phone numbers, which we no longer have access to. So... Becca, I think, is just going to get hammered and we'll figure it out tomorrow. So, next phase of reconstructing our lives was to call our credit card company and... I see, see you've switched cocktails. Yeah, I'm having a, like a healthy hot chocolate with magic mushrooms. Not actually. You're trying to sober up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we called our credit card company to see what insurances we have with them. And they would be able to cover any purchase that happened in the last 90 days. Our drone, which I'm looking up right now, I think is at like 92 days. <laughs> That's literally a $3,500 purchase. But at least the lens, hopefully, I don't know how easy this is gonna be to do all this paperwork, but at least the lens that we literally bought three days ago is in the 90 days. I feel like my reaction earlier was a little bit dramatic, but it was mostly out of shock. They got our brand new drone, our camera with our a whole bunch of footage, drone. our little drone, our beautiful our microphone, video that we shot today, our new lens that we <laughs> just purchased, my backpack, the new capture clip that I just got. And like the invasiveness of how I was feeling than the things and I feel like I just didn't want people to think that I was like screaming over losing our mm -hmm. things you know um it was definitely like the idea that someone had been in our van that they had done it so slyly without us even knowing I had been in it for 30 seconds before even noticing that I had lost all this stuff so it was definitely just the initial shock that made me so like freaked out and um yeah yeah, I think it's also really important to remember that what we do is a huge privilege. We live a very privileged life. Absolutely. And this is uh, the cost of business at the end of the day. We're a traveling studio mm -hmm. who walks around and shows off, in quotes, our expensive equipment. Like, we use our equipment. So we get out of our van and we're vlogging. That's, that's our job. So um, there's no real way to hide that. And with living that lifestyle you're putting yourself at risk to people who have less than you that are, uh, you know, I, I always really like to like think the benefit of a word for like showing off, but yeah, I'm just, the showing off is obviously not the right word. I think we're extremely well traveled and we're extremely cautious about, um, we have a lot of common sense, uh, but I'm using the word show off to kind of exaggerate it. But if you're 
hi guys, we're walking outside and I've got a big mic and this off. It, it, for someone who doesn't know you, it's like, who, whoa, who are you? You're drawing attention. Mm-hmm. Thing. Anyway. Time for bed. Yeah. <clears throat> this morning involves putting together our kit again. And Dora, I think, used to be known as a place to buy inexpensive, like, for inexpensive shopping. Um, I'm not sure if it's still the case, but what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is price out the lens we just bought, because I, I know exactly how much that was, versus another store in Barcelona, and we'll see if it's worth driving an extra three hours to go back to Barcelona, to Andorra. I just wanna say I'm so grateful to the robbers. Thanks, robbers, for not taking our computers because I get to post a vlog today that we worked really hard on, so. That's a huge That's win. That's honestly the biggest win. I feel like the robbers are watching as well, don't you? <clears throat> well, in that case, I do have a little cheeky message for you. Karma's a bitch, and we're good people, and you have an opportunity to make this right. You can email us, and we can link up, and you can give us our stuff back. Or just roll the dice with karma. The option's yours. Oh, everything might be closed. It was all looking closed on Sunday. Hmm. Oh, it is closed. Oh, wow. Alright, well, I'll let you know how that went. We've arrived at the police station. I think they're trying to persuade us to not do a report. Um, originally, I said I'd like to file a report. I got robbed. And he said, oh, yeah, it'll take at least two to three hours. I said, for what? And he says, oh, you gotta wait. There's a lot of people ahead of you. There's like literally ten police officers standing there. Anyways, that's the system. I mean, I think at the end of the day, the main reason we're doing this is if we do have to file a claim with insurance and they need proof of a police report. I don't think there's a likelihood of these guys going out in their cop car smashing skulls. Anyway, I need the passports. Okay. <sighs> I'll leave the keys here for you. And let's see if they allow me to film in there. <laughs> we just had a visit from a police officer and a translator who we thought were coming to help us do the report. Which they started doing. Yeah, she started doing the report and yada yada, and then he was like, well, do you have the serial numbers for what you lost? And then he was like, okay, two hours until you can do your report. And I said, well, we won't have the serial numbers in time because it's nighttime in Canada, can you just... I feel like they just don't want us to they do They don't this want, report. yeah, they want it, they're trying to... He said, he, he was, what I understood from his broken Spanish was like, like, they're not going to do anything. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We can report at any police station in Spain. Really? That's what he said. So, after going to three different police stations, it became very apparent that the police are not interested in taking a, um, a police report about a break-in. It seems like it happens all the time. It just seems like it's a nuisance or something. They, like, tell you to go to the next one, or it will take five hours. So, we just thought we need to start taking action on things that, like, we can do and get done. Um, like purchasing new phones and stuff so that we feel a little bit more in control. So, we actually left that police station, and we're now back in Andorra. Andorra La Vea is known for shopping and really low tax and apparently better prices. We did do some price comparisons and we were seeing like savings of 50 to 100 euros on um, certain items that we're gonna need. So we're back up in the mountains. We love this little camp spot. We're gonna fill up on our water. And yeah, I don't know. I've had a little bit of trouble falling asleep at night. My mind goes crazy and of course I have lots of different feelings, mostly just a little bit nervous of like how long these guys were watching us and all that kind of stuff. As far as like our new kit, uh, it's not going to be something we're going to be able to build right away. Mm -hmm. uh, it's taken us years to get to that point and it's just... In case people don't know what you mean by kit, you mean like lenses and camera gear. gear. And it was, we were finally at a point where we were obviously so fortunate but we we were at a point where we were so stoked with everything we had mm -hmm. we had our, our systems dialed in to the point where all we had to worry about was creativity yeah we had all the tools you know the professional tools to make the most amazing videos so it's 
it's just frustrating going into these camera stores and looking at these prices like it's just crazy yeah what took us probably three years to accumulate we're trying to build back in a day and obviously you can't do that so um we're It'll just doing while, our best we'll get there Steady through the highs and lows Closer than your skin and bones I'll be here for you I'll be here for you As you guys can see, Eamon and I are not in the van this morning. We've spent the last couple of days just rebuilding our kit to get what is absolutely necessary to continue filming and making videos. I think Eamon has some clips and he will be sharing more about that. But what I wanted to share about this morning was this beautiful balcony where I've been doing meditation in the mornings. Um, obviously going through everything, I think a lot of people turn to like clearing their heads and getting some head space, but it's a practice I've been trying to do um, for a couple of months now. And I've loved using the app Headspace to help me do that which sort of leads me into talking about today's sponsor and the book I've been listening to on the go. So I just wanted to say a big, huge thank you to Audible. I know this isn't the normal video we create, but I appreciate you sponsoring to help us replace all of our equipment and continue making videos on the road. This is an ad, but I would surely be talking about it whether it was or not, because I've loved listening to the book, Get Some Head Spice, Get Some Headspace by Andy Puttycomb. He's the founder of Headspace, the app I like using, and he's got such an interesting story. Just a normal guy um, going through college and kind of found his mind racing and just decided to quit everything and go and be a monk. And it sounds super extreme, but he kind of walks you through everything and he's like, yeah, that sounds weird to me too, or that was really hard for me too. And what I love about it is he was saying, you know, well, it's, it's, it's the idea of teaching you the practice of meditation, but also how to take that and like apply it to your everyday life. So for everything we've been going through this week, for example, it's amazing to just have those breathing techniques and, and realizing how you're reacting and why you're reacting um, as opposed to just reacting. Anyways, it's, it's, it's a very in-depth thing, but I've really enjoyed listening to it, whether we're driving and I'm on the driving shift or if I'm doing the dishes here, it's kind of always on in the background. Um, so if you guys are interested in checking out that book or any other book, Audible has an unmatched selection of books, news, comedy, and you guys can use our code for a free 30-day trial. So go to www.audible.com forward slash Eamon and Beck or you can text Eamon and Beck to 500-500. With this free 30-day trial, you will get a free audiobook and two Audible originals. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I'm gonna go wake up Eamon and see if he wants to get some movement in this morning. Look who it is, just in time. Hi there, everybody. Hi, bud. I was just seeing if you wanted to come work out with me. Yeah. I'll show everyone around the Airbnb really quick. So this is the couch. Yep. This is the washroom. That subway tile vibe. Yeah, fits our vibe. And this is where I've been spending most of my time. <laughs> Just relaxing. Much needed little reset. Do you tell them about the gear we're looking at? No. <laughs> no. I'll tell you about that later. The piece of me keeps pulling on you like an anchor's weight. I see a distant storm and want to keep you close at bay. I only want the best for you, that's true, make no mistake. In time you'll see the best of me, you're clearing up the rain. Never give up, reaching for love. Back to that van life, baby. 
It already feels amazing to be back in Trinity. I think the break was really helpful. I wasn't falling asleep or sleeping very well the first couple of nights, and I'm really looking forward to sleeping in the van again. So we're going to head to Spain. File out police report. We drove three hours back to the town of Uret, where this time we met Virginia and Ricard at the police station. We noticed like a scrape that we've never had on the van, and then an indent on the inside right here that we've never seen before. And wow, what a difference that made. This time the cops did a full investigation and started working straight away, looking for signs of entry, fingerprints. Wow. <laughs> and even showing us just how easy it is to break into these vehicles. Oh, wow. That's what just happened. He just took our keys, a random key, and opened another van with it. That's how easy it was. But the and first time didn't yeah. sound the alarm. Yeah. Just the second time. Well, we're not exactly sure how this will play out, but for sure we will keep you in the loop. We just want to say a massive thank you to Virginia and Ricard who have not only helped us but become amazing great friends through the process. So thank you and thank you to all of you for your kind messages of support whether it was on Instagram or emails. We are so appreciative of this community. We're so blessed. I'm just shaking my head. I know. I, I, I'm like, uh, <laughs> honestly, you want to say anything else? From the bottom of our hearts, just a big thank you. And you guys inspire us to keep doing this and sharing our lives online, although they can be scary. We love you guys a lot, and we'll see you in the next one. More specifically, see you someday. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!